Well, Brittany Griner has been at the Phoenix Mercury facility, one of the best in the league, actually, working out. She has got a slew of people who are there to help her from physical therapists, trainers. She is on the court, and I am told by sources there that she looks fantastic. This is much more than a basketball issue, of course, but basketball is what we're talking about tonight, and Brittany Griner looks really good. They're saying that she is ramping up her training, that she is committed to playing in the WNBA, but this roster is still not a done deal. Both Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner are unrestricted free agents. There is no timetable for when they will sign yet because that roster has still got some question marks with salary cap issues. I am told that Sophie Cunningham is a priority for them. Kia Nurse is still a player that is an unrestricted free agent that is very much in the mix there. And so a lot still to happen in Phoenix. But let's keep in mind, this might be one of the big super teams. You know, they've had the big three. What will that roster look like? But we know Brittany Griner will be on the court and that she is working hard to ramp up her training and be ready. Thank you so much, Holly. And that's a great point because remember last time this year we were talking about the addition of Tina Charles and, and Diamond DeShield to this Phoenix Mercury team. So they had that core. And obviously, unfortunately, other things happened with Brittany. But it just feels so good to think about BG coming home. And we have to manage our expectations for BG because we care about her emotionally and, and all those mm -hmm. other aspects. But, um, Rebecca, when you just think about the return of BG mm -hmm. to the court, what comes to mind? What comes to mind is the last time I saw her play in a WNBA uniform, and that was in the WNBA finals two years ago and that was a season where she led her team in scoring rebounding block shots field goal percentage and little nugget three-point field goal percentage granted she only hit three or four what? Of them. Uh, but we are hopeful of course to, to, that we'll see Brittany Griner uh, back on the floor but when I think of her as a player it is exactly that helping her team get to the WNBA finals can you imagine what an inspiration it is going to be not only for the Phoenix Mercury players, but the rest of the league and having Brittany Griner on the court, I can't even imagine the uh, appreciation that she is gonna play with, stepping on the floor, being back in front of the X Factor in Phoenix. Um, I, I believe that she will be determined and this might be the year LaChina, that she You're gets finally you right. at MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not get me excited right now, CP. <laughs> do not. My heart is beating. Um, but Holly talked about this roster just being in flux in general. Skylar Diggins-Smith um, is, is expecting congratulations to Skylar and her family, so not sure where that piece lands. Kia Nurse, um, as we heard, you know, the moving piece there. Um, what are you guys thinking in terms of the, the remaining pieces of this Phoenix roster? Well, if you put Diana Taurasi on the floor, uh, they've got to be players that want to play with her. Uh, if they are able to re-sign a Sophie Cunningham with how she really evolved during the season last year, even though it was a trying season, that would be huge. But I think that they also have to find a strong post presence too to back up BG or to be there as well to provide that depth in the post. You saw the first four names there. If they're able to sign Sophie Cunningham because she really came along she in did. a big way last year, especially after Diana Taurasi was out. Uh, and, and along with BG and along with Diana, assuming that they're able to sign them and uh, Keener if she's back to full health. Um, that's a pretty formidable f group of four. Absolutely. So this is certainly a team if they are able to sign all their pieces that we elevate into that group that can contend for a championship. I think that's why we continue to hear that word. Or is it two words? Super teams? All one? Super team? Whatever. But <laughs> either way, yes, a lot of talent in Phoenix. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.